Hi, it's the old duffer, the invisible old duffer. Now, I've just shown you, I made this stainless steel exhaust for the RL. Um, I was going to make a mild steel one, but what's the point? It'll rust out. There's no more work in making it out of stainless. Okay, the cost of the material is probably half as much again, but that's it, done. Uh, the silencer I ended up purchasing in the end, that's about three feet long, um, six inches in diameter with a uh, 70 mil or three inch uh, bore. I've got some three inch stainless pipe I was going to make my own. It's not worth it. It was £101 delivered. Uh, I couldn't make it for that. And the ends, I'll get you off there and I'll go through how I did it so you get an idea. I'll, I was going to film doing it, but it took all day and I was backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards to the welding bench, um, making it all up as I went. So, uh, you know, it would have been a nightmare to film on my own. So anyway, I'll get you off there and we can have a look to give you some ideas on how to do it yourself. Um, you know, it is relatively straightforward. to do right and this is where I mess up getting it off the blooming tripod this never wants to let go there we go right here we go now I put a couple of um, adjustable ratchet straps uh, under where the silence was now and over the chassis and you can then adjust it one at each end I'll just let that one in you can see there to demonstrate so you can get the height right of how you want it to go and then I ended up tying a rope in the middle and pulling it over to the battery box to get the position I wanted. Uh, now here, these are 45 degree, or the three of them, uh, bends, and they come with the same amount of straight, <coughs> excuse me, on each end, and I've cut this, pushed it in, because this is a slip-on type silencer, but I welded it because I don't want clamps to come loose uh, and all that. And then up here, we zoom in, or out rather, shall I say? You can see it going up there and up to the manifold. Now that is uh, that fixing plate I just purchased. I think it's four quid, it's 10 mil thick, stainless. Um, again, I could cut it out on our plasma, but what's the point? That kind of money. And this is in here, I've got my finger in here. There is a, uh, what they call a reducer, so it goes from three inch down to two and a half inch, which was the original exhaust and I welded a ring on that reducer, this side, and this then pushes up against it and shoves it in the cone. There's no gasket in here. Now, I didn't want to drill any more holes in the chassis than I had to, uh, or avoid it if at all possible to fix it. So we come here, that fixing plate there, those holes are already there. And this is 12 mil solid stainless bar made all the mounting brackets and the bungees, uh, and this is our Micro K11 bungees, readily available, fit a load of other things. Um, and this one was quite interesting. Those holes are in those chassis plates. And I found some uh, aluminium discs from somewhere, two inches in diameter. So I turned them down so they would sit inside the holes with a stainless spacer tube. And again, that's a bit of stainless bar, put an M12 thread on the end. And it goes right down. And it holds the bungee there. Now that is a very concise way of doing it, but to cut all the pieces to give me what I wanted, measure it all up. It's very time consuming, hence I just, it would have taken a video so long it would have driven your potty. But there you go, that's how you do it. Very straightforward, very easy to do uh, using, uh, you know, readily available parts. Um, so, right, till the next time. Ta-da.